Hey guys, don't be intimidated by how long this video is. It's just me going over every single detail in depth. And I'm also recording it, narrating it, and doing it all one-handed. So it's the slowest you'll ever see it. And once you get the hang of it, you'll fly through these so stinking quickly. So you wanna make sure you grab that box I talked about earlier from the, the manager and then just get started. But make sure you take before pictures and after pictures because that proves you did the work. Enjoy the video, guys. Good luck. Okay, so this is what we're, imagine a three layer cake. This is the covering the pallets. This is the top display. And then this is what we're replacing. Not the guts inside, guts inside we're keeping. It's just the shell. It's gonna be a package that looks just like this. And what we're gonna do is, first you're gonna do is you're gonna take all these little cards out of here. And there's gonna be a little plastic thing. Just pop that out. Yeah, I'm replacing the, the tools you're gonna require. Some heavy duty double stick tape. This is, I think, 38 pound. Got it at Walmart uh, for five bucks. And then a knife. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that knife to remove, uh, because this section is gonna be removed and we can discard that. But the guts inside of it and this bottom piece right here, we're still gonna keep that. It's just this top part. Okay, so I'm going to remove the security device. You can ask an associate, they can have do that, remove that for you. I take is the knife, and I'm just gonna cut around here. You don't have to go super tight. You can make it big gaps, but do not cut any of the lines. Just be cautious of that. But this thing you can damage. This thing you cannot. Yes, no. Yes, you can damage it so you can work with it. So I'll cut that out. So as you can see, all I did is just cut around it and removed it. Now this is where you make sure you are always in charge of this, this device because this you wanna make sure it stays secure at all times. So what I do is I just will unplug the power. Now sometimes, depending on how it's connected, the power might be connected all the way through. And so if it is connected to the device, then you gotta make sure you, you unplug the, the brick in here. But right now, we're okay because it's attached to the brick right there. And I would leave it, I wouldn't detach it from that brick yet, just because if it slides off the back, then you gotta fish it out. So, I then remove the laptop. I do is you take, or the tablet, excuse me. Remove the Surface Pro. And put it somewhere secure. I put it up here, so it's out of the reach of the clients, customers. So it's up there, it's out of the way, but I can always keep it in sight. And now, my goal is to take this and to remove it without any issues, without damaging it at all. So that's what we're gonna do, and this is how it's gonna do. It's actually super easy. We're going to each one of these tabs. These tabs fold out as soon as you press them in, so if you just go here, and cut it out, and here, cut it out, just press down, boom, tab comes up. You're good to go, let's do it again. So I just see, I can see where that crease is, cut out, go here again, I'm gonna cut it out, press down, boom. Bob's your uncle. Now on the sides here, we're kind of lucky because they have those little slots for the cards. So you can pretty much just tear it down and then boom, on up, Bob's your uncle. And do that to the same the other side. Now, take me a bit, so I'm doing this one-handed, but that's how awesome I am. So take it here, pop it on up. Now. Take the whole setup and try slide, just try it slide back just a little bit. Now remember, there's a power cord behind here that you just don't want to lose. This is more of a hassle. So, now I can tilt it, and now I can work on those tabs down there and have access to them. See, I, can, I have successfully removed the top box. I just fished, this was just fished through there, so I can remove this, set this out of the way. You are not to damage or discard it. Just out of the way, so it's no longer in your way now. Now, this is what you're gonna do is you're just removing this piece. Now, there's a piece on the bottom, like I said, that you do not remove, but this cover piece, you're do, you are gonna remove, and I'll show you an easy way to get that. Also, a quick note, so you don't lose the cord, secure it off to the side. Pull it through here, pull it around, so you know that's not gonna fly out the bottom. Everyone knows what happens when you have a power cord and it flies to the back of a display. It's just not fun to fish it. It's not attached, so you just slide it straight out, you notice that, and put it face down, and what you're going to do is you're simply just going to work your way around. You're going to fold these in, get it pushed through, boom, do it again. And you just want to work your way around. 
It's actually pretty simple. Once you get it on, then boom, you're gonna move over to the next side. Pull out the side here. You just work your way around. Now, if you need any help to getting these out, there's these holes here that make it convenient that you can just, especially if you had two hands, to be able to pull that out. But if you put two hands on either, two hands on either side of this, you can pull these out pretty easily. They're not, it's not that hard. So, boom, pull it out again. And again, now that I'm done with that side, just rotate it over one more time. So again, when it's completely removed, this is the piece we're keeping, so do not damage this piece. But this is the piece that we're replacing. So we're able just to remove this. It's got the front to it. Get all unhooked. And boom. That's a way. Now you're going to set it up the same way. You're basically going to take it out of the package and set it up just like this. So you're literally going to take it here and put it right back there and start putting it all back together. Okay, when you take it out of the package, you're just going to unfold it. Now this is going to be the front top. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go and take this here, bring it on up. And what I do is, see these creases here? I pre-crease, pre-bend every single one of them. It makes your life a lot easier when you're actually putting it all together. So there you go. Pre-crease every single edge, like this guy. And be careful not to slice your finger up on this. So you're going to bend it. Same thing. So you're just pre-setting all that stuff up. So rotate around like you did before. Again, pushing that down. Crease. Crease. And then one more time. And what it's doing is it's providing rigidity to this box. So it's now it's going from a folding now something more rigid and that's why you want to fold it all the way around get these pieces folded and also when you put the little tabs in it makes it easier a lot easier believe me and boom when you're all done now if you notice kind of where the similarities between this and that this is the back that's the back so in order to do that we're going to rotate it We do this so it's just easier not to not get confused. So see how now it's precisely like the way it was before. So now we're just going to take it over, slide it over here. So you slide over here, and then you're going to start same thing. You're just going to assemble it all together, and you start at the top, start working your way. I like to do the little tab things that they have like that last. So I'll do this top first, then this side, and the other side, and then tabs that because they lock in there. And just work from one side to the other. Wrapped it around, just put it on just exactly like it was before, and then just wrapped it around. And now I'm gonna start putting it all together, working edge to edge, and let it seal itself up. So, for example, on top here, hold it over, and you're just gonna feed it on in. Kind of reverse of unpackaging something. Boom. Again, just feed it on in. And because it's been in before, it should have, it should be easier for this stuff just to slide in there. See that? Just work your way from edge down to edge down and make sure these flaps go inside so it looks sealed and not garbage like I think the last place you see. I, so as you can see, I took it and I just sealed that side, flipped it on the side, did this side. Now I'm going to do that side and flip it over. You're okay moving this around. It's just cardboard inside of it. As long as you go from corner to corner, nothing will come flying apart. So now I just lift it up on its side again. And boom, here I am starting right here. Get it right into that. Again, two hands are better than one. And then see how by simply bending this it makes it a lot easier. So bring it closer. Boom. And again, you want to work, see how it's already wanting to go in? So work this side, get it in, this side, get it in, and then work your way all the way across. And we'll end the part here. What the previous installer didn't do is they didn't pre-bend this, you can tell, and they just fit, fed it through there and it makes it look like garbage. So don't, don't make it look like garbage. Make sure you pre-bend it down in there. So 
so it tucks in nice and tight, gives a nice tight seal, gets it right in there. So, and then boom, you feed it in there. And the easiest way to do these is just fold them. You pop them in the hole. And what they do is they unfold once you get them into the hole. That's why I want you to do these ones last because I don't say there's no going back, but it's harder to do it. So let me go here. We're gonna feed this guy in there as well. Like I said, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Beautiful. Now you just wanna make sure, again, I said this before, you wanna pre-bend these so everything's going really nice and smooth. Get every little crease in there, get every little corner, just bend them in there. That way, when you actually feed these in, it'll be a lot easier for you. But this is the thing also, pop these in. So you know this is what you're gonna attach your top piece to. So just pop, just push them in, easy, peasy. And bring it up here up front. Now, when you take this box, there is no front and back. It's it's universally the same. And so what you do is you just want to plan ahead. And so when you get the box in here and you start to get it set up, obviously we want that power cord to go through the back here. So remember, I, I put the power cord over here. Like I said before, this box is universal. So this side matches this side. It's both the same. So what we want to do is we want to, remember that cord we had off to the side? I'm going to take that cord and here, and we want to feed it through this hole. It's right through here. Feed it on through, make sure it looks good. You know, some people, this is over explaining it, but some people it's not. And then you want to get to the hole and then you can slide it into position. I'll show you as soon as I get a hole. It says, you see, I slid into position. Now I'm just going to do is slide this back to where those entry points are and get those back two tabs in there first and then go from side to side and get those tabs. Notice as I fed it through here, and I slid the box out a little ways so I had room to lean this back. And now I have it all slid into there. The cord's coming through. And if you take this flap, you're able to pull it in with the cord in the hole, especially if the power brick's right there, it's gonna keep it from going away, which is just super nice. And then work away from side to side. Remember, pre-fold these in. And we'll get that all put down. Okay, so we're gonna re-secure this. So what I did is I just took, see we just had this here. So I took the double stick tape and I stuck it on here, peeled it off, stuck a couple pieces on here. And when I peeled off, now make sure before you do that, make sure your cords are nice and clean. They're not all tied up around. Because if you have a knot, you're not gonna get the knot out until the, unless you have to remove this and redo it again. So once you have in there, Stick it in there, put it inside, secure it, tuck up all your cables and stuff so it looks nice and, and clean, and then, then you'll have it display looking. Now there's a couple ways to make to put these in. You can do it bare like this, and so say if it's, like I said, if you separate these properly, you should be able to fit them in, and boom, they just slide right in there. Now say you wanna try a different way, you could have it around the thing all the way around it, Feed in one corner and the other corner, and you're good. Just make sure the plastic's down, and there you go. Now, if you're having problems, say this thing is just too thick, and you're like, man, it can't seem to fit in, take a portion of them and then separate them, and then slide in the middle after you put that the initial skinnier section of them in, and there you go. Notice this is the before, and look how clean the space is. Now, obviously, I still have this pulled out a little bit. Push it back in. Okay, thing, just want to make sure it's clean, tight, looks good. You notice the difference. Is it anything but ordinary? That's the after. So, all right, as you're it. looking over your completed work, just make sure that you know everything looks nice and clean. Looking at your wires that they're fed through the back here, a nice clean setup. So, here, just looking behind there, boom, got some slack, but it's perfect. That's the way it's done. Looks good. Okay guys, in closing, just make sure you clean up all of your mess. You should be able to take the old displays and just fold them up and put them in the box that they both came into. And then make sure you take a picture of what you did and have them sign off on the sign off sheet. It's pretty simple and you're good to go. So good luck guys. If you have questions, I'll provide my phone number, my cell phone and call me anytime.